It's Mark Weens here in Bangkok, Thailand. We're gonna make the recipe right now for Kung Gang Pet, which is Thai red curry paste. Curry pastes are an extremely important part of Thai cuisine. They form the base or the foundation of so many different Thai dishes, so many soups, curries, and even stir fry dishes. Uh, so we're gonna make red curry paste and pound up all the ingredients by hand. And my porch area is about to start smelling really good with the chilies and garlic and lemongrass. For this Thai red curry paste recipe, you're gonna need dry red spur chilies, which are about three to six inches in length. I pre-soaked the dried chilies in water for about 10 minutes to soften them up. You'll also need both cumin powder and coriander powder, as well as white peppercorns or white pepper powder if that's all you can find. The other ingredients include shallots, garlic, kaffir lime peel, lemongrass, galangal, fresh coriander roots, salt, and finally a bit of shrimp paste. Also, be sure to check out the full recipe on eatingthaifood.com for all the ingredients and written instructions. Now we're going to first prepare the dry spices, so add three teaspoons of white peppercorns to your grinding mortar, and first pound the pepper into a fine powder, which should take about three minutes or so. Next, add in about half a teaspoon of cumin powder and half a teaspoon of coriander powder, and pound for another minute to mix it all in. That's it for the dry spices. Put the mixture into a bowl and set it aside until later. Next thing we're gonna get started with the chilies, which I pre-soaked them for about 10 minutes in water to soften them up. I used eight chilies, first cut off the stem, then cut them into centimeter sized pieces just so it's easier to pound. Some people like to remove the seeds, but I like to keep them in for extra flavor and heat. Go ahead and toss all the chilies into the mortar along with half a teaspoon of salt and start pounding right away. The chilies are gonna start unleashing oily goodness and breaking down, which is exactly what you want. Pound them for about five minutes. Then move back over to your cutting board and peel your shallots. Now Thai shallots are really small, about the size of grapes. So I used five of them, uh, which probably equals to about five tablespoons of chopped shallots. Go ahead and toss in your shallots and just mash them lightly into the chilies. I pre-peeled about 10 cloves of garlic, so go ahead and peel your garlic and then throw them straight into the mortar. Take one stalk of lemongrass, pull off the outer leaf, slice off the end, and then shave it into small pieces until you have about one tablespoon's worth. Toss it in. Coriander or cilantro roots, chop them off the stem, and again, dice them up, and you want about one tablespoon's worth. For the galangal, slice off the stems, you want just the root part, and cut about a thumb-sized chunk into small bits so it's easier to pound. Kaffir limes are one of my favorite ingredients. They have so much amazing citrusy flavor. We only want the peel, so using a really sharp knife, slice the skin off delicately, and try not to go too deep because we don't want to get any of that white pith with it. I used about half the lime for this recipe. So now that we got all the ingredients in, it's time to start sweating like crazy. It should take about 20 to 30 minutes to get where we need to get. So we're hoping to get to a really fine paste that's almost like a butter and definitely takes some sweat and elbow grease. Hey, man. The smell coming out of this is just intensely amazing. Just remarkable. I cannot wait to eat it. You're looking for a nice, oily, buttery curry paste that almost looks like tomato sauce. Some sweat and tears of joy later, and you should have a beautiful paste. Now go back to your dry white pepper spice mixture and mix it all into the mortar. Also, add just a half a teaspoon of shrimp paste. Pound and mix your red curry paste for about five more minutes, making sure everything is fully mashed and all the ingredients are mixed in. Now, at this point, you're probably gonna feel like a champion Thai food chef. And if you're like me, it will smell so good that you'll want to taste test it immediately. Oh, that's amazing. You can taste that little bit of the kaffir lime, the chili, the garlic. Finally, scoop all your paste into a bowl, and that's going to be the base for a number of other Thai dishes. You can use it immediately or keep it in the fridge for later. That is a lot of work for a little, little bowl of extreme flavorful deliciousness. 
and it's so worth it. But alternatively, you can also just throw this stuff all into a blender. Uh, it's not quite as good, but it definitely is quicker and you don't sweat as much. But this is awesome stuff. Hey, it's Mark Weens here. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Give this recipe a try. I would love to know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming food videos. And I'll see you on the next video.